And then he started uh, touching me and uh, hitting me and uh, kicking me. Um, he tried to choke me many times. And, um, sorry. My name is Kate Del Castillo. I'm an actress and an activist. As an actress, always, my dad being an actor, like I always moved in that industry, in that ambience of fame and this weird thing that fame is. And I lived in a pretty nice environment. I met uh, this soccer player. He was one of the best soccer players in Mexico City. He was awesome, he was very handsome, very charming. I met him around 27, so um, I knew already what I was doing. I knew, um, I I've, I've, have been working as an actor for a long time now. I was totally independent, but I was still living with my parents because I was very happy with them. And um, so I met this guy, I fell in love. We dated for a year almost a year, and then he asked me to marry him. And now that I think about it, I know that there was something there in the back of my mind that was like a red light that was saying something's not right. But, you know, um, when you're in love, um, you don't see those, those signals. So um, I got married, and things just went the other way, went wrong on, on my honeymoon. My honeymoon was terrible. <laughs> I would wait for him to, to go to sleep and so I can just go out and cry my eyes out because I, I, knew, I knew that things weren't go going to be okay. And I thought that I had a very good self-esteem, but, but this man broke me uh, in, in many, many ways. Um, even with my work, he would tell me that I'm a horrible actress, that I should go and take classes. Every single day he would say, oh my God, you, you woke up like uglier than yesterday. And he would laugh. And, and, and stupid things like that, that it just leads you to break you every single day with being just dismissive with me and, and all that because he was the star and he thought that he was the star, but I, I, I was a star as well. And, and I was very well known in Mexico. And he didn't like that. And things got even, even worse because first it was only like verbal violence. And then, and then he started uh, touching me and uh, hitting me and uh, kicking me. Um, he tried to choke me many times. And, um, sorry, um, and there are times because I, I couldn't go out with my friends, I couldn't go see my parents, um, I was pretty much kidnapped. And it was only a year and a half that I was married with this guy, but it felt like 10 years. I spent that year and a half without seeing myself in the mirror. I knew that it, that was not me. I knew that I won't like what I see in the mirror. And there was one moment that I clicked eyes with myself and, uh, and what I saw well, devastated me because uh, I was very um, skinny. I looked old, I looked ugly, and of course not happy. I think it comes from within when you're happy and when you're free and, and, and I was it and I can see it in my eyes and I can see it in my, even in my skin and my hair and my, Every, everywhere that was, but that, I knew that that was not me. In that moment, I saw myself and I said, not, not one more day. I, I, I can't see this person like this one more day. And I had to do something. So um, he, he went to Japan for the World Cup and I decided to leave. I decided to leave and I just left the, the, our home and I never came back again. I spent a couple of years trying to 
regain that confidence in myself, to regain, uh, especially self-respect, having some respect for myself. And that took me a long time, very long time. And I think that's m what I'm pissed about it. It's not being a victim, it's that who can come and just tear you apart and break you just like that. How easy is that? And how you can be traumatized by entire, your entire life if you, if you live to learn differently or to tell a story and help other women. No one should be able to, to break us like that and especially sacrifice, at least not in my vocabulary. There's no sacrifice. I don't sacrifice anything. Not for my family, not for my career, not for, no. I do things because I think it's the best. And if I give away things or emotions or whatever, it's because I, at the end, I think it's gonna be for the better. And that makes me feel amazing. But there's no sacrifice. We don't need to sacrifice in any way. At women, we don't need to apologize for anything, for anything, for being, for being a woman, of course not. 